Vlogmas. I'm just getting ready for church, and here it is, Jake. Ooh. I'm just curling my hair, and then I think we're gonna eat chili after church. So, decided to go a little bit more casual. I'm just wearing a green cable knit sweater. I think my music's really loud. Um, and then my Target jeans, and then these little kitten heels by Rocket Dog, and then I just curled my hair. So. I want to have one last check-in. Tomorrow is Christmas. One sleep till Christmas. And um, my family had a really nice night. We went to church and that was really good. I think my favorite part of the Christmas church service is at my church. We light candles and then do a candlelit uh, silent night. And that's always just like really cool to have the entire congregation um, singing along and having all these lit candles is really just beautiful. Um, so it was really good. My mom made chili as kind of tradition, I guess. And it was like a really good batch. And we, I always have chocolate milk with chili when my mom makes it, which is really, I don't know, weird. Um, cause I'm not a milk person, but I didn't have real milk this time. I decided to have my almond milk just to drink it, which I've never done because I always just put it in cereal or in oatmeal. I don't really drink it, but I always have chocolate milk with chili. So I put chocolate syrup in it and it tasted really good. And that was amazing because I'm lactose intolerant, but I just kind of suck it up a lot of the time and deal with the consequences, whatever that may be for whatever given day. And uh, I think going with the almond milk was a good choice tonight, so I didn't get sick. Um, so it was a, a Christmas miracle, you might say. Um, so, and then my family opens presents on Christmas Eve, so we open all our presents. And then tomorrow we will have stockings from Santa, so um, I am very excited for candies because I really want some candy right now. I'm really kind of craving it and I convinced my dad to get cinnamon rolls for breakfast so I am just looking forward to that I am I am really excited for cinnamon rolls and I think he bought other breakfasty items too which is unusual we don't usually have breakfast we all just kind of fend for ourselves um, <sighs> excuse me goodness so yeah we opened up all our presents and I am very happy with with everything, and I think, I think all my family members liked their presents, which is good, because I was kind of concerned, and I kind of have a reputation to uphold about being, like, an excellent gift giver. I am the best, but I can tell you, now I can tell you what I got my family, so I will do that right now. So for my dad, I got him the movie Noah on Blu-ray and DVD, because we have a Blu-ray player, I think, mm. but it also comes with a DVD, because it's kind of up in the air, Jake thinks that things are only going to be Blu-ray in the future, so it's good to get things on Blu-ray, I guess I was just blindly following his advice there <laughs> for the moment, but it was funny because the other night my family watched Easy A, and in the trailers, or no, we switched over to different DVD because our, our DVD player was kind of like freaking out, just to see if it was the disc or if it was the player. Um, it was the player, but we changed a cord or something, and now it's working fine, so that's good. Um, but when we were watching the trailers, there's a trailer for Noah, and my dad was like, this looks great! And I was like, oh well, I got it for you. So, uh, and then for my mom, I got her the Forever Red from Bath & Body Works body wash, because she loves that perfume. I actually got her that perfume last year for Christmas and then on Black Friday last year when I got the little like tote um, it came with a roller size Forever Red which I like threw in with her present and she loves it. So I was like I will get her the body wash so that she always smells like Forever Red. Um, she I, she really likes it. And then for my older sister I got her a oven mitt that was like um, white with brown polka dots on one side and then on the other side it had blue owls and she loves owls so that was really good but I also got her like six of these beautiful velvet covered like classics um with like gold um 
font for like the titles and stuff. So there was Sarah Plain and Tall, Anne of Green Gables, Black Beauty, uh, The Secret Garden, The Little Princess, and something else that I am forgetting. But I can't remember. <laughs> Black Beauty? I don't know if I said Black Beauty. But they're just like beautiful classic books and I found them at a thrift shop probably back in September. And originally I kind of wanted them for myself because they're so pretty. But I only saw The Little Princess and I was like, oh god, Emily loves this book. So I got it. Well, she loves the movie, but it's based off this book. And so then I saw that they had all these other books in the same collection, so I got them. <sighs> Excuse me. And then for my little sister, I actually got her an oatmeal, um, infinity chunky knit sweater scarf. And that was kind of a toss up. I didn't know if she was going to like it because when we went Black Friday shopping together, I kept pointing out different scarves and she was like, oh no, I don't really like this. I'm really picky about this part. I don't really like this, but this one I like. So I was like, okay. And I got one from Target and I think she actually really liked it. I think she might actually wear it, which is um, a good thing. It's, it's, it's acceptable. It's, uh, I'm searching for the words. I'm, I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm happy with her reaction to the present, I guess. Um, and then, I don't know. Oh, Emily got a present for her puppy Posy, who has been featured in these vlogs a few times. Um, and it's a little treat gun, so you put little treats in it and it, like, launches them out. <laughs> So they run and go get them. And then my mom also got Emily um, some little dresses for Posey, which was so cute. She had a little Christmas dress. Um, yeah, it was just very, very sweet. So, I will. I was kind of planning on this being the last vlog, but I think tomorrow I'm going to vlog too and then just have 25 days of Vlogmas. So, and then after that, I think I will not vlog until January. I'm not really, really sure yet. Um, and then I want to be trying to do at least one weekly vlog a month is what I think I'm going to do. So I will keep updating you on that, I guess, and uh, I will see you tomorrow.